नमस्कार दर्शक मित्रों अतिथि में फरी एक बार आपू स्वागत है अतिथि एट कार्यक्रम के कार्यक्रम में विशिष्ट व्यक्तित्व साथ अपनी मुलाकात करे बात करे अंतरंग आज एक एवं व्यक्तित्व कि जे कदाच बोले ओछू अने कदाच बोलताज नहीं परंतु तमी सूरों की साधना थी हृदय की बधीज संवेदनाओं आप सुधी पहुँची जाए कोईपण जातना एक्स्ट्रा एवं आइडेंटिटी अथवा तो एक्स्ट्रा एवं वर्ड्स ने साइड में राखी सीधा इंट्रोड्यूस कराऊ छू लुईस बैंक जी लुईस जी वेलकम टू अवर शो अतिथि थैंक यू वेरी मच लुईस जी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल देर आर सो मेनी क्लासिकल म्यूजिक प्लेयर और क्लासिकल सिंगर गॉट द घरानाज बट यू गॉट घरानाज एंड घर बोथ या यू आर अ लकी चैप डोंट यू फील दैट यस यू कैन कॉल मी दैट लकी गाय विच घराना यूज टू प्रीफर माई घराना या well karana is i think a concept that emerged with indian classical music not with jazz True. yeah jazz has been influenced by styles True. which are used by many many musicians so whatever i learned i learned from my father so you can call it the banks gharana <laughs> banks gharana this is a new gharana banks gharana <laughs> that uh, i got all my training from in the beginning the abc of music even 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 your grandpa is also good company it goes think, back six generations oh, my musical i think i i heard and i uh, read uh, about yourself in wikipedia there wrote up to your grandpa only it goes back six generations all born and lived in the in nepal just born for music only yes they were all into music right from being the court musicians of the maharajas of those days till they came to my father and my father is the only banks we were not even banks then banks is a surname that was a vocational name i think your father has adopted this bank surname My father, correct, absolutely. Not my grandfather. No, not my grandfather. Grand, grandfather, my grandfather. My original father, name. That was the original Nepali name. My original Nepali name is Dambar Badur Buddha Prithi, and my father's name was Pushkal Badur Buddha Prithi. But the your But name has been changed. No, your your name has been changed after. the recognition and i think uh, he has some feeling some extra feeling some extra attraction by mr louis who is a trumpet player louis armstrong louis armstrong absolutely that was his inspiration to name me as louis yeah because he wanted me to grow up and play like trumpet like that's why i studied trumpet in the beginning my first what instrument we, was which, trumpet which 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 was the first instrument that that trumpet. i want to know okay okay trumpet was my first instrument because my father wanted me to play like louis armstrong the great jazz musician at what age from, from the age of 4 okay, okay i started from the age of 4 uh so uh going back through generations uh my great grandfather if i go that far back all were musicians but my great father great grandfather made a name for himself because he composed the nepali national anthem sure. bakhat beer and uh, then uh, after my father was born and things were changing in his mind he wanted to see more of the world he wanted to experience more world music other kinds of music than nepali folk music in nepali royal music he shifted to darjeeling he came to calcutta calcutta okay that was the first base okay, okay. he came to calcutta and during those days what he told me the stories he told me this was in the 1920 and 30s in calcutta calcutta was the hub of western culture hub of jazz music all foreign bands used to come and play so that's where he got all his education in music in the western idiom the jazz music again uh, you said ki uh, that was a, a hub of the western music is calcutta and calcutta people maybe maybe visitors uh, to calcutta 
maybe they love to uh, listen this type of music and after jazz music is spread out across the india can we can we say that that is the pioneer of rather you can say the initiative who has taken to spread out jazz music is your father can you say that can you claim that as a nepali maybe okay. as a nepali because he i think he was the first nepali jazz musician definitely now come to jazz jazz music because see ultimately you are in this jazz music okay now there are so many music lover there are so many music listeners they love to uh, listen music but they don't know what is the technicality of the different type of music now how can you define jazz music in your words i am not going for a specific uh, terminology no if layman or common man want to know that what is jazz music how can you describe that freedom of expression okay in music okay but freedom without chaos there is some structure in that music some meaning in that music but the music that finally comes out is mostly improvised music okay that's why it's very similar in concept to indian classical music where you take a raga and then the musician in improvises on the raga okay and from his improvisations you know what caliber of music he is what caliber of musician he is the way he plays those notes his technical mastery of the instrument all that comes out by playing the seven notes of the raga give the same seven notes to an amateur he cannot bring out the beauty of the raga but give it to a master he will bring out the beauty of the raga now which instrument is more important in jazz music according to you because you played so many instruments okay i think you are master of piano you are master of trumpet means you have all the all the you, what you call pakad hai puri har ek instrument mein fir bhi but for if me, you want if you want to uh, give one two three number for three instruments which is the top priority instrument for jazz music piano piano is first for me piano is first for me because piano by itself is an orchestra and there is a uh, range range and there is a range absolute range music is comprises a melody harmony and a piano can deliver both at the same time true because the keys are there and your 10 fingers are there so you can give both but uh for me the drums is very very important because that's the backbone of the rhythm section of a jazz music and jazz without rhythm does not it is exist. not possible yeah, it's possible. not possible so the main three instruments that is the backbone of jazz is piano drums and bass okay and after that all the melodic instruments trumpet saxophone trombone all these other instruments enhances the beauty of jazz melodic expression but the basis the basic backbone of jazz is the drums the bass and the piano now mr lewis do you feel that the passion which you have you had your last six generation had a passion about the music okay i think they got so many things through this music but there are so many things they have lost just because of music the music love do you feel that as on date in current scenario there is lack of passion about the music they are they are more more bang on uh, all the ready made instruments and the, the ready made keynotes you know uh, ready made uh, scores So there that, is a lack of passion that's why i say now music has lost its essence a lot of essence in the i call it the altar of commercialization who is the responsible for that commerce <laughs> come on commerce Wait. okay okay to live better to have better cars to have better houses to live better that is a vicious circle you come into that vicious circle and you are trapped in it 
and then your passion for music, for jazz. Uh, jazz musicians, most of them die poor because their passion for me, that music is so great, they don't think of commercializing the music at all. Compromising the music at all, they don't care. They have a passion for this music and they just want to play this music to the best of their ability and keep on reinventing this music, keep on evolving with the music. So the commercial aspects don't come into their minds. So you will find there are very, very less rich jazz musicians in this world. Now, now, <laughs> this, this scenario oh. has been changed through Mr. Louis Banks. How, how and when? हम इसी बात पे आएंगे वक्त हुआ है छोटे से ब्रेक का दर्शक मित्रों मिस्टर लुइस बैंक साथ है निवाद करी शो एक नानकड़ा विराम बात विराम बात फरीय को स्वागत है आपने कार्यक्रम आती थी मां लुइस बैंक साथ है नहीं एक रसप्रत तबका मवाद अटकी थी बिजा तबका निवाद एक ब्रेक पची नहीं हवे मिस्टर लुइस बैंक so many commercialization in this type of music but but, but 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 mr lewis banks has changed this image he came in to commercialize world with that passion that dedication this is the achievement of lewis banks because there are so many jazz players what uh, you said about just before few minutes but Mr. Lewis Banks is a player, he is committed to knots, but with good commercialization. Also, yes, uh, before I came to Bombay, uh, I must tell you that uh, when I was in Calcutta, when I was in Darjeeling, my total focus was to learn the music of jazz. That was my total focus. I didn't care about anything else. And money was the last thing I, I thought of. I as I, usual, as usual, uh, what you got in heredity. Uh, yeah. So, life was going on very well. I was leading a band. I was playing, 90% I was playing jazz music. Though I was playing in a club. Uh, where popular music also at Mumbai uh, in Calcutta where popular music also had to be played but I played popular music in my own style using jazz so I did all that and people accepted it but uh, and my life was very ordinary it was only music from morning till night we earned a very uh, meager salary we had no savings in the bank. I did not have a house. I did not have a car, nothing. But we were very happy because we were playing the music I loved every night. So I was very happy. You are talking about 19? In the 70s, 1970s. So I was a very happy man playing my music the way I wanted to play. People were appreciating. I was very happy. I was not thinking of money, having a big house, cars, lots of money saved in the bank and all that. Those considerations didn't come into my mind at all. Till that one fine day, Mr. R.D. Berman from Bombay came to the story that he came to Calcutta and he came to the place where I was playing and he liked my playing very much and he offered me a film. And you refused that? And I didn't refuse, I accepted it. First, I told him, I don't know anything about film. film. I think, I think at first you refuse the proposal of Mr. Adi Burman. Uh, that's it, afterwards, in the second time. What, sec, what was the first proposal? I, 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 I wanted to know the first incident when Adi Burman uh, uh, met you and you refused it. Just, just it, it is, it so is very, it's very good story for my viewers. No, there is a, a misconception over there, a misunderstanding because there were two proposals which people did not realize. The first proposal was, he came in there, he didn't know me, I didn't know him. Mr. R.D. Berman. Mr. R.D. Berman. But uh, God sent him to this restaurant where I was playing. Okay. 
and he saw me playing and something went into his mind. I like this fellow's playing. Great. It so happened coincidentally that he was making a film where the hero played piano. Shami Kapoor. Uh, Shashi Kapoor. Shashi Kapoor. Which was the film? Mukti. Mukti. And he saw me playing piano and he liked my style of playing. Something clicked in his mind. I must use this fellow to play the piano parts, which Sashi will play in the movie. Hmm. So all that thought came from where? I don't know. It's a mystical thing. And he introduced himself to me and said, I want you to play in my movie. I said, I don't know anything about movies. He said, don't worry about that. You come and play piano. So I said, OK, I'm willing to try it. And I went to Bombay, and I played in his movie, and he loved it and everything. I played. Which all was that song? I don't know. None of those songs goes too far back, but there were many songs, of course. I played all of them. Okay. And then after that movie, he told me, "Stay back." Okay. I said, "No, I cannot stay back." So that you was played. That, that was the refusal. Okay. That uh, you played once I for played one all, movie. Ah. Uh, all the songs of the movie the and the background, the core and wherever piano was required, I played all the piano parts. Okay. So he liked it very much and he wanted me to in be the, with, him, with him in the orchestra, his, to be part of his troupe. And after that second meeting, what this, was this that? Second, this, thing, this was the second. Then he made this other proposal, please stay back and join me. And I said no. I have to go back to Calcutta because I have responsibilities in Calcutta. And what happened this actually? Was, so people took this as the refusal. Refusal, refusal, refusal. It, it, it was but not it was a clear cut refusal. Uh, it was circumstance for me. I had to come back. Okay, okay, okay. Because your passion, your love about that. Uh, and, again, and again, responsibility. Again, again, again. The jazz is a freedom of music. Absolutely. And Louis Banks <laughs> never. Bang on any circumstances. Absolutely. Yeah? Uh, Louis Banks always need freedom. Yeah. What I need, I will play. Now, now, now. When a thought, a really uh, holy thought, good thought, comes in mind of Louis Banks to come down into this commercial aspect of our uh, continuity. So I came back to Calcutta, spent some time there, when then circumstances changed. And uh, my job was becoming very shaky in Calcutta. The entertainment, whole entertainment scene. Any, 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 uh, one, one second. I, I, I want to uh, stop you over here. Any time, <coughs> has that happened? Someone has refused Louis Banks. <laughs> refuse me. <laughs> because today is a scenario. No one can refuse Louis Banks. But Achha. in the initial <laughs> stage. Who knows? There might have been. I don't know. <laughs> Is there any incident? I can't. Nothing that I can remember really. Yeah. Someone doesn't like uh, your uh, playing? There might have been. Who knows? But uh, you, no always, you always face that in, in this business, definitely. You cannot please everybody. Okay. So, but so, to continue the story, uh, things were not ha becoming good in Calcutta in the entertainment business. There was a power shortage that was happening every night. So our jobs were looking very shaky. And at that time, I told my wife, things are very shaky now. I think I need to get away from here and go, go to Bombay, where once R.D. Berman had made an offer. And I will try my luck. And she said, OK, go. So I came to Bombay. And I met R.D. Berman, and he was so happy to see me. And from the next day only, I joined him and became part of his inner circle, actually. Yeah. And that is where I discovered Indian classical music and world music. So my focus from pure jazz began to open up. The dimension began to open up for me. I was discovering things that there is so much music, different music, which I can, yeah, explore, which I did not do previously. 
now I'm in this circle, I can explore this music and my mind opened up. And another thing that happened is I started to earn money. More than anything that I ever earned in Calcutta. So I was caught in a vicious cycle of earning money, which my wife loved, my family loved it, because <laughs> their comfort, you also the, loved that. the comfort level was going up and up. We could buy a car, we could buy a flat. Luxurious all those life things. you got from this uh, commercial world. From the commercial. Then the advertising industry discovered me of Bombay, and they offered me, and I became the actually the blue-eyed boy of advertising, and made like over 8,000 jingles. I mean, and that was a lot of money. So life was changing for me, but not my focus. So I was wearing two different caps. One was the commercial cap, and the other, my jazz cap was there all the time on my head. Now, now, not the cap. I'm talking about cap only. <laughs> Is it compulsion to look different when you are in this field? You are wearing always... Uh... I know. It's become a trademark now. Now, my wife won't let me wear, go without wearing a cap. Now, 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 with the uh, humble request from my all viewers and from me, can I see you without cap? Why not? You can Please. see me without a cap. You see, I have hair. <laughs> <laughs> this is Louis Banks without cap. This is rare photo, rare snap. Rare photo. Rare snap for our viewers. That's why we have to say that 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 we have to now, Mr. R.B. Banwan, uh, he is visionary. He has a different sense of music. He know what is the uh, taste That's of... That's why he appreciated my music. He found me very different from the others. So he wanted to exploit my uh, creativity, my expertise in the music that was different. And he wanted to introduce those kind of things in his music. Now your individual, your individual music composition, uh, we will come to that uh, topic, that era. Individual, Louis Banks has composed so many uh, composition, which is your favorite one? I know this is a tough question uh, because... Uh, but I have got I, an answer for that. Please. My favorite is the one I am going to write tomorrow. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, always, always trying to do something better and better and better. Exactly, yeah, there's no end to that. There's no end to that. Yeah. Now come to the Riyas. The real Riyas, Riyas. Well, my day starts with Riyas, not in the sense that I start playing scales like <coughs> I used to play, <coughs> but I go into compositions. That is my Riyaz now, yeah, into different compositions, different stylings, exploring different combinations and uh, styles of playing different music, incorporating different styles of music, integrating world music. That is my Riyaz now. I do that on a daily basis. On commercial shows, do you feel that Louis uh, that the real, the real passion of uh, Louis Banks. I think uh, uh, your lovers, your music lovers, particular individual Louis Banks composition lovers, they are not allowed to perform you in your real passion. They, they need your most popular uh, composition only. They are ready to listen what you are giving something new to that world. Yeah, that is what is expected of me, to, yeah, every time, yeah, when I play, yeah. <coughs> and jazz music allows me to do that. That's what I'm so happy about, choosing this music, because it's such a big, big umbrella uh, that I can explore, search, 
and keep on searching, never finding sometimes, keep on searching new aspects of this music all the time. Yeah, it gives me that scope. Whereas in commercial music, everything is structured into that one format. And then you are, once you write that, you are stuck with that and you have to play it like that always. And that's how it becomes popular because people hear it the same thing all over again every time, the same thing, same thing. Jazz is a little different. It, uh, it is a freedom of expression of the musician and it changes all the time. Now come to the, the real story behind the composition of Mele Sur Mera Tumara. I think that is a, uh, it was a milestone because uh, Mele Sur Mera Tumara had given you a great exposure. Yes. Okay. Now say something interesting story about that composition. Well, Pandit Bhimsen Joshi also said, I've been singing ragas for so many, so many years. But when I sang Mele Sur, the opening riffs of Mele Sur, opening melodies, I became a national figure. Oh. See that one, he sang for 30 seconds, the opening lines, and he became a national figure and everybody was talking about Pandit Bhimsen Joshi. When it that's, the power of, that's the power of commercial music actually. Oh. It has that power, I don't know, that people, the common people, who are not, who don't have the, uh, the intelligence the, uh, to evolve with the music are quite happy to listen to something very melodic and they are quite happy to listen to that. Easy to understand that. Very easy to understand and they can listen to that a thousand times and still enjoy it. True. The same thing. So that's the power of commercial. The, with the big shots, big shots, the big uh, well-known singers and you are composing, I think that was the uh, big opportunity for you and big challenge for you uh, to work with all the renowned uh, singers, you know. What an experience. <coughs> what an experience. Uh, the composition, my basic question is that ki mile sur mera tumara, that composes when it occurred, uh, when it comes in your mind. How, how, how it, uh... It's all based on the rag, no? Yeah. This is the thing about composition. You don't know where it comes from. But when it happens, <coughs> it's something clicks in your brain. And then, that's how I compose. I'm aimlessly, sometimes without any thinking, without thinking anything, I just keep on playing. <coughs> the scale or the rag on the piano. I keep experimenting with different combination of notes and all that. And suddenly, da 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 comes into my head and I've got my starting point. Great. At last, at <coughs> last, at last, Louis Zee. Ye gana humne bhaat logo ke unki awaz mein suna hai. Louis Zee ki awaz mein isu na chan. Little bit, little bit. I'm not a singer. It's, 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 it's again, singer. again, 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 again. It's humble request. This is the last, last, uh, 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 my demand for my, my, my lovely viewers. No, no. Little bit. Not a singer. Please. Mm. I can just maybe hum the thing. Ta-da, ta-da, da 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 That all comes in my mind, yeah. Okay, fine. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Lewis. Such a pleasure talking to you. Yeah. Darshak Mitra, Aadhi Lewis Bank saathe ni khas mulaqat. Ek avi vyakti ke je kada chane mane khyal chhe ke satat je 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 feeling sati demni je andar ni baat je jazz music saathe nu demnu passion chhe demnu lau chhe. Ane ek fakta Lewis Banks nahi. Six generation thi satat music saathe joda lo ek parivar. Ane ema atiyar je ne continue kare raha chhe deva Lewis Bank saathe ni mulaqat. Fari Manishu next episode mein ek nava aati thi saathe. Tya sudhir jab shonamazgar. Thanks again. Thanks a lot, sir. Thank you. Such a pleasure.